Do you love Odd One Out? Did you know that every purchase at the Jubilee shop helps fund this show? If you're looking for ways to support Jubilee and watch more episodes of Odd One Out, make sure you check out our merch at shop.jubileemedia.com. Now enjoy this episode. Let's talk about what animal Goofy is. Oh, okay. Okay. Technically, okay. the age of Goof. He's a Goofy. Just he's like a own. species? I always go to dog. Right, I but mean, yeah. And he's attracted to a cow. We brought together seven Disney fans. I'm a Disney fan. I'm a Disney fan. I'm a Disney fan. I'm a Disney fan. I am a Disney fan. I'm a Disney fan. I'm a Disney fan. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? What's everyone's favorite era of Disney? The Renaissance. Renaissance. Yes. Renaissance. <laughs> do people really think about that? <laughs> so I was like, okay, I guess they do. Whoa, so mine okay. is actually <laughs> a little bit of Silver Age, but more Silver Age. Okay, yeah. Beauty. Yeah. I'm more of a 90s kid. Yeah, I see the All about some Goofy. Yeah. 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 Everyone was wearing like super spirited Disney things. The only one who stood out to me the most was Lavender. She had a more dark like attire. What's so everyone's <laughs> favorite Disney princess? I love Tiana. Ariel. Tiana. Mine's Ariel. I mean, yeah, look at that. Yeah. See, I'm wearing the Mulan. And it's not a stereotype, I swear. <laughs> My awesome. favorite princess is Vanellope. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Underrated. Yeah. Underrated. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. smart. She's, She's a bookworm, and I'm a total nerd. I think I'm Jasmine. I think oh, oh, yeah. yeah. A Jasmine. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, that's She's, what I grew yeah. up with. Okay, how do we feel about the live action? I hate it. But it was so emotional. I just feel like Robin Williams made the mess. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Was it horrible? Was, was was I, like I like that yeah, he made it his own. Like Lady and the Tramp, I was like watching two dogs fall in love and I was like, oh, yeah. interesting, I interesting. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I am uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> Jamal was a little quiet. He was more agreeing with people than actually giving answers to the questions. When I looked at Aya, I was like, there's just something, something's off about this. We have a tie. Oh, man. The tie is between Eric and Aya. We're going to a tiebreaker where each of you will tell us your Disney hot take and why. Okay, my hot take is Disney does not treat its employees right. I feel like the COVID pandemic was like the biggest example of that. They like laid off all their employees. They like didn't pay them. It feels morally wrong to like support that, even though like you're really supporting like the creatives and the people behind the magic that are like working on it. You're discontinuing like the annual passes for Disneyland when I was finally gonna buy one. What? Yeah, because they're only having it for like annual pass holders from before or their kids if they're like old enough now. And I was like, okay, like post pandemic, I'm gonna get a Disney pass. I'm gonna actually be able to go because I'm not in school anymore and like. I wish I had a little bit more chance to like prove the stuff that I knew. I got Disney Inc. on me, so like 100%, I think this would have proved that I'm a diehard Disney fan. Let's talk about what animal Goofy is. Wait, oh, okay. Technically, no. okay. the age of Goofy. He's a Goofy. Goof. He's like, he's like a species? Own. Okay, like the confusion is like between that if he's like a dog or right. a cow. Right, because yeah. if he's a dog, then how is Pluto like an actual dog? He's like an yeah. animal. Yeah, that's exactly. Dog. What would you say? Like Goofy movie, he's what would cow. you say? I always go to dog. Right, I but mean, yeah. And he's attracted to a cow. But like, you know, it's yeah. just one of those things that we're expected as kids to accept. And <laughs> yeah. I worked at Disneyland for three years up until the like layoff. So when people would ask me, is uh, Max Goof a dog or what? And I try to say like a goof because that's what they would tell us to say, that he's a goof. Yeah. And Vanessa had mentioned that she was a cast member and you know, which is an easy, easy way for you to learn Disney facts and Disney things. Like I saw like with eyes that Chester was sussing me out like hard. Like, I wanted to work at the happiest place on earth. What's everyone's favorite Disney song? So it was I Won't Say I'm In Love by Megara. Oh, when yes. I saw her singing it, I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'm a little bit, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually a song from Pocahontas that they pulled out because they thought it was too oh, adult. Oh, it's a duet, right? If I never knew yeah. you. Yeah. If I, you know, like, 
to yeah. Dream is a Wish, which is like quintessential, yeah. like just all encompassing yeah. Disney. Mm -hmm. I feel like every hardcore Disney fan knows where the human skull is on Pirates of the Caribbean. We can all say it at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like an actual human skull. Yeah. Yeah. Three, yeah. Three, two, one. The yeah. captain's room. Okay, so you're right. That's the captain's room. I didn't know about the human skull. I didn't know there was a human skull. Never heard of it. Do you guys collect anything Disney? Yes. yes, I collect the Haunted Mansion figurines. Oh, oh the like cool. expensive ones that yeah, break my bank. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, I don't have them. Oh. I collect fabric and the the Funko Pops. Do you make things with the fabric? Yes, what I mean? make bags, backpacks, purses, wallets, like all the things. Maybe it could be her because she could just be someone who does this for a living, and so she's familiar with the market. Has everyone been to Disney World or Disneyland? Disneyland, Disneyland. 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 I've actually yeah. never been to either. Uh, Cause I'm from Chicago and like oh, it's wow. so expensive. Wait. Jamal had said I've never been to Disneyland. I'm like, what? It's understandable. It is pretty expensive. <laughs> never met a straight person who liked Disney. So really? I, I have. Oh, oh dang, well, girl. Well, like, yeah. Literally, I've never met a lot of straight people to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here. <laughs> yes, you are. She said that she was like a 90s Disney fan. 90s was like when Disney was like at its biggest, so it would be just like the easiest thing to know about. I voted for Lavender because her body language was kind of saying like, I don't want to be here, or I don't know what I'm doing here. And we have a tie. The tie is between Jamal and Lavender. We're going to a tiebreaker where each of you will tell us what is your favorite Disney movie and why. This is the hardest question you can ask a Disney fan, um, but I love Lady and the Tramp more than anything. I love the cartoons, I love the score. One of my favorite singers does like the main song, La La Lou. La La Lou, La La Lou. And I've called like every girlfriend that I've ever had Dove because of that movie. <laughs> okay, my favorite movie is Frozen. It's probably cliche, but I think it's just such a beautiful story. The music is amazing, and I think Disney does a good job in subverting the classic Prince falls in love with the princess, they fall in love. But the true love in this story is more between the sister, Elsa and Anna, and I think that's really beautiful. Also, I'm a huge Rory fan, and Frozen on stage is amazing. Thank you, guys. I thought I did good, but I feel like everyone says Frozen's their favorite movie, so it is what it is. Please raise your hand if you want to continue the game in three, two, one. I'm like, I think that we're all fans. Can we just stop the game? <laughs> this will be the magical experience round. Each of you will get the opportunity to tell the others what was your most magical experience with Disney. I grew up like super poor and the only time I got to go to Disney was with my like rich grandpa. <laughs> I was adopted into my family and um, so I didn't really like have a relationship with anyone like but my opa. It was really great like integrating into the family and also like building a relationship with my opa. Um, and he just died last year so going without him is still it feels like he's still with me so even just going is like magical. When I first started driving I got a speeding ticket. I was pulled over by the police and I freaked out. And I was so nervous that when he was like license and registration, I like reached over and I grabbed my wallet and I just handed him everything. I carry my like Autotopia license, the first oh. one I ever got <laughs> in my wallet and I had it in front of my license and he looked at it and he let me go. So I come home and I'm like, oh my God, I got out of a speeding ticket. And she's like, how? And I'm like, Disney. <laughs> So as you guys know, I worked at Disneyland, but I was never super specific what I did. I was in the entertainment department and I would uh, watch and hang out with the characters a lot. There were moments where I'd cry because seeing these families together was just so beautiful. And I, I have like picture photographic memories of this and it's, I'm really grateful for that. So I as well have a lot of magical Disney memories, um, some of my own and then some of them from my son. I would take him to Disneyland all the time, like I was able to afford us a, a, a yearly pass. And there was one time um, I, I bought him a balloon, <laughs> like the yeah. balloon broke off and he's like, <gasps> like he got so depressed and sad. <laughs> well, I guess I'll buy you another one, like they're kind of expensive, but you know, I'll do it. Oh, can I buy another one? His broke. They're like, oh, no problem. And like they just gave him one for free. Oh, I'm just God. like, what? It wasn't until like I saw fireworks set to music for the very, very first time. Yes. I think it was Believe, I think is what it yeah. was. The, one of the first ones. I actually went with friends and this was like the first time I had ever gone without 
like family. I think about it all the time, like me and my four best friends from high school. All I remember is being there and just feeling absolutely happy. Yeah. I didn't know who to vote for. <laughs> I feel really bad, Kira, I'm sorry. I voted for Kira. I thought that maybe she's just a Disney mom, not a Disney fan. Me? Okay. <laughs> if you want to continue playing the game, please raise your hand in three, two, one. <laughs> Just I have kidding. one suspicion, I'm sorry, but <laughs> like. I still had a sneaking suspicion that it was Vanessa. The fact that she was a cast member and it's very easy for you to get that information because it's ingrained in the training. You know, there are a lot of us that don't like where we work, so. You know, who knows? <laughs> if it's one of you, I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> not invited anymore. I'm not. <laughs> if the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you all win. If the light turns red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Oh. It's you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Such as how. Okay, now it's personal. Now it's personal. I had suspicions. Will the mole please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one? I am so sorry. I'm a Disney the company hater. As the mole, uh, I might have myself a little bit. <laughs> I mean, the character who like I was, that's like one of my friends who's like he's a Disney <laughs> fanatic who I'm ah, emulating you. basically. I like don't like Disney as a company and I like to stand behind what I believe in. You know, when you have so much influence over children, I kind of wish that you'd prioritize like making the children's life like so much happier than like the money behind it. I uh, deserves an Oscar. <laughs> like she had fully done the work. I think she earned that money. I mean, like, I'd be down to go to Disneyland with everyone. I'm like, yes. I'm no, sorry. you're not. <laughs> For me, being a Disney fan is not necessarily about loving the company itself, but enjoying and connecting to the content that they put out there. It really brings out the child at heart. Whenever I go to Disneyland, I feel like a kid again. You know, as a company, there's a lot to not like about it, but really, Disney's like about the cast members, the Imagineers, like the people behind the magic, and like I love everything about that. I'm gonna take these off real quick because I don't deserve to wear them. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. This is, I'll, I'll, I'll invest it in like Disney something. I'll, I'll, I'll give back. <laughs>